How you doing? I'm Daniel Ortiz, and the following is my video audition to become the next announcer for Pokemon VGC 2014 tournaments. Let's get right into the action. So here we are playing Pokemon Showdown. Um, Iramworks versus Silly Bob. Iramworks throws out a Celebi, and Silly Bob responds to the Toxicroak, which is an interesting setup here. Uh, Silly Bob decided to change his mind. Toxicroak was a bad idea, and sends out a Heliolisk. Heliolisk, one of one of my new favorite Pokemon. Me personally, on uh, perfectly honest with you guys, interesting typing. Um, takes a U-turn, not too much damage, maybe about a, a quarter. Switches to Glissor, which is pretty much going to stunt Heliolisk in all its abilities right now. Probably just going to eat one of his electric moves, and that's what happens. Silly Bob switching again, not really not really knowing what he's going to do, and makes it rain with Politoed. Glissor drops the Earthquake as he normally does, pretty standard move and throws out a Toxic, trying to poison the frog. It's always interesting, Politoed using an Ice Beam. Now that's going to be four times effective against Glissor. Glissor having really low special defense takes it completely. It's a one-hit KO on the frog reigns supreme. Aram works to kind of decide what to choose next and chooses Magnezone. Magnezone is going to be a huge spot blocker on Politoed and goes for the one-hit KO. I don't know what Silly Bob was thinking. Politoed definitely the slower of the two. Probably willing to sacrifice, knowing that he was going to go for the Volt Switch. And this is interesting because it's pretty much a new match. Bisharp comes out, they both lost one Pokemon and Gyarados. But the Defiant switches everything. That attack cut becomes a stat boost for Bisharp. And Gyarados goes into Mega Form. Now that's going to be huge because Gyarados has always been such an offensive threat. The Mega Form really just pushes him over the limit. And the knockoff, only doing a little bit less than half. and. Forces a switch out. Gyarados did dance, so he has that attack and speed boost. As Amaral comes out and gets hit by a devastating waterfall. That Citrus Berry brings him back up, but that's still, still real questionable. The Azumarill using Aqua Jet to get a priority hit on Gyarados. Probably try and do some of that chip damage, and Gyarados does what he does best. Kills that Azumarill in two hits. And Aramworks really has an uh, interesting work cut out for him. Going with the Magnezone, once again, real smart move. But Gyarados outspeeds and hits with the super effective Earthquake. That's gotta hurt. Aramworks is coming from a deficit now, trying to react to this Gyarados. Celebi comes back out and, ooh, hangs on with about oh, maybe 10% health left. And hits with a U-turn. This is a really interesting decision, just because that exchange was definitely not in Iramworks' favor. Gyarados still a super big threat. Loses the rain, which is going to reduce the amount of damage Waterfall has been doing. Ooh, we see Iram's Mega with Medichan, and that's rough. 100% Waterfall. That is another one-hit KO, and it looks like Iramworks is going to lose out to the overpowering Gyarados in this match. But, but let's see, B-Sharp hits with a Sucker Punch and does take him out. Now, this could be a huge swing in momentum. Bisharp and Celebi definitely capable of dishing damage uh, to this water team right now. So let's see what Silly Bob has to do. Bisharp notices the bad decision and switches to Celebi. Celebi has low health, so we'll see how that turns out. And Silly Bob goes for the rain dance. I guess he likes making it rain. It makes perfect sense. He's running a water team. Celebi uses the recover, brings health back over half, and... Skull does a negligible amount of damage, does not look like it burns, so Celebi's definitely at a huge advantage in this matchup. Might be smart for Silly Bob to switch out, which he does. Let's see what he comes out with. The Heliolisk. Now this is, I think, the setup we saw when the match first began. Definitely not in Heliolisk's favor, but compared to the options, probably not the smartest thing to do. And let's see this. A couple leftovers exchanged, not that much damage being dealt either way. And Heliolisk hits with the Thunder, but it's not very effective against Celebi. Celebi lands a Stealth Rock, which is going to make switching in and out kind of a problem with Silly Bob. And it's like Iram works is definitely not giving up, even though he's down four losses to two. Celebi takes a Thunder Wave and is now paralyzed. Doesn't matter, hits with a successful U-turn and switches to his B-Sharp. B-Sharp never out of the game. Probably one of the most versatile and effective physical attackers in the game. Ooh, Heliolisk Thunder misses. Thunder misses. It's likely because of the rain. Once again, once that loses, it's no longer 
and Bisharp takes definite advantage of that, knocks him out, and switches back to a Blastoise. Silly Bob. Looked like he had the upper hand, but has taken some substantial damage. This Bisharp takes off about 50% of his health and tries to hit with a Toxic, probably anticipating a switch, but it doesn't hurt Bisharp at all. Lands a Protect. Misses the knockoff and gains a little bit of health from the leftovers. But it's definitely not enough to avoid the rampaging attacks of Bisharp, who has brought it down to a now two-on-two -two battle. I Am Ram works definitely coming from a deficit to even out the playing field. Hits him with another knockoff, gets him to about a third. Knocks off the Black Sledge and Toxicrow goes aggressive and gets a bulk up. Now this could be dangerous. Bisharp hits with a much weaker attack this time, and Toxicroak does have a chance to respond with Drain Punch, which is super effective. And that is a one-hit KO. Toxicroak up to over 50% health, and it looks like Silly Bob might take it. That knockoff was kind of a brazen move, but it looks like it paid off at the end. Sorga Punch is super effective, and that's the game. Silly Bob had an early advantage, but kind of lost it in the middle. Toxicroak finally came back and won for him. All right, well, thanks for watching. Once again, I'm Daniel Ortiz, and that was my audition for the VGC 2014 Poke Battle Tournament. And remember, when it comes to Pokemon, I'm the Pokeman.